Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you one of the easiest pasta recipe, a chili pesto pasta with grilled chicken. Let's cook! To make the pesto, start by chopping some basil and parsley. You just have to cut it roughly because we're gonna blend it later anyway. We're only doing this to make more space in the blender and to make the blending time shorter. Next, you also need some green chilies. You just have to cut it into thick slices like this. And if you want to tone down the heat, you can just remove the seeds by doing so. Just make a slit in the middle like that and snap it open. And take out all the white membrane and seeds. By doing so, your pesto will have a very mild spiciness but still have that chili flavor to it. Next, you also need some garlic. You just have to chop it roughly like that and also followed by half an onion. Then add in about 50 grams of pine nuts, a few tablespoons of parmesan cheese, a squeeze of half a lemon, Just don't forget to take out the seeds. And then top it up with a generous amount of olive oil. And don't forget to season it with some salt and pepper. And then just close the blender and blitz away. At first, the mixture will be stuck like this for a few seconds, just give your blender a little bit of shake and eventually your pesto will come together. Just don't get tempted to add too much olive oil. Midway through, you can just give the sides a little scrape and continue blitzing after. And when your pesto looks like that, that's ready to go. And for now, I'm just gonna transfer it to a small bowl until we're ready to use it. This much will make about 2 to 3 portions. This part of recipe is completely optional. I just love adding asparagus to this dish. I think it adds a little bit more freshness to it. And asparagus and chicken are really good together to begin with. So you just wanna slice your asparagus into small pieces like that and just leave it on the side until ready to use. For the chicken, start by butterflying your chicken into two even pieces. Just like so, and you can even cut it into smaller pieces by doing diagonal cuts like that to make the cooking time faster. And now we're gonna marinate the chicken with some chopped garlic. chopped rosemary then some salt and pepper just give it a good mix and massage all those flavors into the chicken and just leave it to marinate for at least 10 minutes now just a recap these are all the ingredients that you need for this pasta recipe and today I'm using penne. This says here in the packet to cook it for 13 minutes. So I'm just gonna cook it for 12 minutes because it's gonna cook even further in the sauce. And this pack is 500 grams. So it should be able to feed about four people. Which means we have just enough pesto for all the pasta here. But just the chicken and asparagus in this recipe is half the amount that you need for all the pasta. So to set up your cooking station, you'll need some really hot grilled pan and some boiling water. And as usual, you need to add some olive oil and big pinch of salt into the water. And when the water starts boiling rapidly like that, you can start adding the pasta. I'm just adding enough pasta for myself today. So that will be about one and a half normal portion. Next, you also need to drizzle some olive oil into the griddle pan. Then you can start cooking the chicken. I started with the pasta first because the pasta gonna take way longer than the chicken. The pasta will take about 12 minutes and the chicken will only take maximum 6 minutes. 
So I just leave the chicken on the grill pan over high heat. All you need to do is just to see if it has formed any grill mark. And if it has, just flip it over. And just continue cooking on the other side until both sides are equally brown. In total, it should take you about 3 to 4 minutes on each side. And when you're sure the chicken are cooked all the way through, you can just set them aside onto a plate and let them rest for about 5 minutes. And on the last minute of boiling your pasta, you can add in your asparagus. This is to make sure the asparagus will stay firm and still looking bright green. In other words, we're just kind of blanching the asparagus here. And after boiling the asparagus for about 1 minute, just take it off the heat and strain it into a sieve or a colander. Now we're just gonna set this aside and start on finalizing the pasta. Just reheat your pan over medium heat, add about 3 to 5 tablespoons of olive oil, followed by 2.5 heaping tablespoons of the pesto. Just give it a good mix. And you don't want to cook this for too long because you don't want to lose the bright greenness of the pesto. So after about 10-20 seconds in a pan, you can add back in the pasta. Make sure everything is mixed totally. And when it looks like that, you can turn off the heat. And now we're gonna cut the chicken pieces into smaller pieces. Just give it diagonal cuts like that, make it look presentable. Just pick the ones that don't look as good and just add them into the pasta. We're gonna use the good looking ones for the topping. Just work the chicken nicely into the pasta. And believe it or not, our pasta is actually done. And it's ready to serve. Now just scoop it into a pasta bowl or a plate like this. Top it with the chicken slices. And some parmesan cheese. And finally, an optional dollop of fresh pesto. And there you have it guys, my chili pesto penne with grilled chicken. I hope you liked that super simple recipe, and if you did, please leave this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out my previous videos right over here. Links and measurements gonna be in the description box below. And don't forget to leave a comment below, let me know what you're gonna see me cook next week. See you next time guys, bye!